All right, all right. So welcome to our Lean This Is My Channel. Today we talk about the box cost transformation for non-normal data. When uh, when we want to use uh, when we want when we want to use normal capability uh, capability tools, but our data are non-normal, we can attempt a data transformation to satisfy the normal assumption. Uh, to illustrate, consider this process that shows best of NAS or beans. Uh, the operators insert its best between two uh, two metal bar. Between two metal bar. Between these two uh, insert this bar between the two metal bar. Uh, metal bar. Uh, one of which is heated and seals the back uh, the back shot. If the seals are too weak, if the seal are too weak, the bags may open during shipment. If the seals are too strong, customer may have difficulty opening the bags. Okay, all right. Is the force? Your trunk is the force required to open the bag. To study the process, the operator randomly samples uh, 250 bags from a batch and measures their shear strength. Okay, so look at this histogram of the uh, shear strength. So those, uh, those data appears normally distributed. Okay. Okay. Is this a uh, data from a normally distributed population? So let's see. So this histogram is skewed to the right, right? It's skewed to the right, and the p-value for the Anderson uh, uh, and the p-value for the uh, Anderson Darling test is less than 0 0.05. So both the histogram and the p-value indicate that. The data are not well modeled by the normal distribution. So, how can we use normal capability? How can we use normal capability tools to study process that are clearly not from a normal, normally distributed population? Okay. How can we use normal tool, uh, normal capability tool, tools to study normal, non normal data? to transform the data into values that follow a normal distribution okay so we can try to transform the data in the values that follow a normal distribution if the transform if the transformed values follow a normal distribution we can use uh, the normal cap capability tools we study earlier in this chapter Okay, so this one the before transformation and this one the after transform data is a follow a normal distribution, right? Okay, so let's talk about the transformation for non normal data. So we we normally uh, we normally use these two transformation transformation methods to transform uh, non normal data to normal. Yeah. Okay. These are two methods to transform the data from non normal to non normal data to normal data. The box cost transformation and the Johnson transformation. Okay. So. The box cost, trans, uh, box cost transformation is fairly chim simple to understand, but does not always identify a successful transformation. The Johnson, the Johnson transformation identifies a successful transformation more often than the box cost, but is more complicated. 
of measures attempt to transform data uh, measure, mathematically so, so that the data follow a normal distribution. The buff cost transformation works by raising its value to a power. Okay, the buff cost transformation works by raising its value to a power between minus phi and phi. This value is uh, called lambda. Lambda. Note that note that a special case applies when the lambda is equal to zero. Here we set a uh, natural log of east value. You see here the formula, okay, for this uh, box cost transformation. Okay, yeah, so so let's let's us uh, let's us use box shop. A box cough transformation to try to transform the non normal shield strength shield strength data uh, of not back not back uh, the goal is to find a lambda that transform our non normal data to normally distributed data the best the best transformation will result in a data set whose uh, variability is as small as possible. Okay, so this graph plot the standard deviation of function of y uh, versus lambda. The 95% confidence interval provides a likely range of values for the true parameter of lambda. The value thus minimize the standard deviation of, uh, of function of y is estimated for lambda in any particular situation you may want a lambda value that corresponds to an understandable transformation such as uh, the square root uh, is the lambda is equal to 0 0.5 or the natural log the lambda is zero so this rounded uh, rounded this rounded value, this is rounded value in this example is 0 0.28. It is reasonable choice because it falls within the 95 confidence confidence interval. Therefore, the the y power uh, y power 0 0.28 transformation may be preferred preferred to the transformation defined by the best estimate of lambda okay so here we find the, the lambda is uh, 0 0.28 okay and this uh, formula for our transformation data Look at this histogram. Look at this histogram of the transformed data. Okay, this is the transformed data. So those transform, those transform data seem to fit the normal distribution. Okay, so let's see. Yes, this histogram is is bell shaped and approximately sim uh, symmetric. Uh, is appropriate approximately uh, symmetric about the mean means maybe here which is characteristic of the normal distribution the data and the data now follow a normal distribution and a p uh, a p value of a p value of uh, 0.845 in in the anderson darling test confirms that Y power uh, 0 0.28 transformation must the shield strength data appear normal. So we can use this normal data to calculate capability indices.
we uh, use the process capability analysis uh, which uh, transform data okay so now we can calculate the uh, capability indices by using the no, uh, normal capability tool So, okay, so let's review. Let's review. Let's review. The buff curve transformation can often transform non normal data into normal data suitable for uh, normal capability tools because buff curve transformation is easy to understand. We use it when possible. If we cannot find a suitable buff curve transformation, we can try the Johnson transformation. And we will talk about the long term transformation. It's a nice lesson. In the next lesson, we will talk about the long term transformation.